In this video, we're going to cover mill part 2 Rev A. So this part is really similar to the previous video. You'll see on the drawing here that the big change in the part is the dimensioning scheme. So instead of having uh, all of the dimensions come from that bottom left corner, now we've got two center lines going through the middle of the part where all of our dimensions come from. So what we've got to do is adjust our program to account for this. Now it's not the end of the world. We don't have to write a brand new program, which is the point of this video. What we're gonna end up doing is changing the alignment to reflect this new dimensioning scheme. All of our features and characteristics will update automatically. The reason we can't use our previous alignment is that our nominals won't match up. So for example, the X and the Y for that center hole, I'll indicate it here on the video, would not show up as negative uh, one X and positive a quarter inch and in Y for this new dimensioning scheme. They'd show up as Y uh, an inch and three quarter and X plus uh, half an inch like the you know, previous drawing, which I'll show right here as well. So what we're gonna do is add 2D lines on the other sides of the part that we didn't in the previous video. And we're gonna use a construction feature called symmetry. Now construction features are theoretical features. They're gonna use uh, features that are already on the part and then calculate features that you can't physically measure. So we can't measure a center line. We're gonna have to use the two sides of the part to develop that center line, okay? So let's hop right in the machine. I'm gonna pick up those two 2D lines and then I'll show you how to do the construction line. So the one on the right side, I'm gonna name uh, right side, right? It makes sense to me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the top of the part, take a 2D line and call that top side. So we've got our two 2D lines from pretty good shape. Now I'm gonna go to the construction tab and create those symmetry features. So we'll go to construction tab Symmetry is gonna be our third one down. And just like when we did the bolt hole circle in the previous video, we're gonna create the feature and then we're gonna populate it with the information it needs. So I'll double click on symmetry. Feature one is gonna be, I'll do the uh, center line going up and down first, going through the middle of the part. So we're gonna choose left side. And then on the feature two, I'll choose right side, okay? You'll notice on the screen, we've got a, a bright blue line going through the middle of the part. That is what is being developed by the two sides of the part. Makes sense, right? And again, we can't adjust any of the nominals for this feature because it's derived from other features. And then we'll do the same thing again. Symmetry, double click. This time we'll use the top of the part and the bottom of the part. And as always, we can go in our screen and our workspace and see what's being selected. So we select the correct things. And I'll hit OK on this dialog. So now we can go to the measurements tab and we're gonna move that alignment, right? So I'll click on uh, base start alignment, hit okay. Spatial rotation is okay. Planar rotation can stay the same. Our X origin, and remember X is gonna be left and right. We want it to be the uh, center line that uses the right and the left side. That's what we need for our X axis control. So I'll go in here, change this to symmetry one and hit OK. Now you can see in the workspace there's a temporary coordinate system. If we stopped right here, that's where the coordinate system would be. It'd be in the bottom center of the part. But that's not what we want. We're going to go to Y origin and then choose symmetry 2 and hit OK. And we notice 
that triad has moved to the middle of the part. So now I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna hit no for the clearance planes and I'll hit yes for uh, the default nominals. So we've moved our coordinate system from the uh, corner of the part to the center of the part. Now let's check and see. We'll check circle one and see if the nominals return what's on the drawing. So we've got about an inch and then about a negative one inch and then about a quarter of an inch. We would need to go in here and change these to what's on the drawing. Okay. And now when we go to characteristics, we'll check the X value. And that's exactly what we want. That's gonna reflect what's actually on the drawing. And doing this this way, we didn't have to rewrite the program, okay? We just moved our alignment, made it a little bit easier. Drawing changes are a real thing. Uh, datums can change, and this is a way to change your alignment to reflect that. Now, in later videos, we'll talk, you can have more than one alignment, and you'll need more than one alignment if you have multiple datum reference frames. But for now, that's all I wanted to get across in this video, how to move your alignment and how to use some construction features like symmetry to create things that aren't there, okay? So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and check out the channel for more content like this coming soon.